Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at McGinnis Lake on the Colville Reservation. There's some beautiful brook trout in here. We have a great day. I think it's going to be a fantastic show. Stick around. All right, what I'm doing is casting out this fly. It's called a booby. You know, it's kind of crazy, but I'm casting it out on a sinking line. Get it out as far as I can. And then I'm letting it sink. I've been seeing fish on the depth finder about 16 to 20 feet. So I'm trying to get at least that much line out, get the fly down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip three times pretty hard, pretty long, pretty fast, and then let it pause for about a second. And when you pause, what it does is that fly has a flotation on it and it'll bob back up. A lot of times that's when the fish take it. So you're pulling it, pulls it down, it bobs up a little bit, pull it down, and that's when they will take it a lot of times. Oh, there's one. There's a fish. There is a fish. Oh, it's a nice fish too, lad. It's a really nice trout. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know, maybe 16 or so. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, no doubt. All day. Awesome. Oh boy, it's beauty. Yeah, beautiful trout. Eastern Brook, we're catching up here at McGinnis Lake on the Colville Reservation. Here he comes. Awesome. Awesome, good fish. Boy, what a gorgeous eastern brook. It's gotta be close to three pounds. Look at that thing. Look at the spots on that. That is spectacular. Steve switched to a chronomid under an indicator. Oh yeah, there's one. All right, this is a nice trout. Yeah, good job. Cool. Yeah, and that was, whoo. That's when I did see a fish down there. Awesome. It's taking out some line, that's awesome. Nice. Awesome. Steve continued to battle the hard fighting brookie. McGinnis Lake is loaded with nice fish, and today we're the only anglers on the lake, which was surprising since it was a beautiful day in mid June. Awesome. Totally awesome. He was fighting. It's not as big as I thought, but boy, he fought well. What a good fight in trout. It's a really nice brook trout. That's got to be a couple pounds, huh? Yeah. Beautiful pink spots on him. Boy, he fought really well. I thought it was going to be a little bigger fish than that, which is a good sign because it's a you know they're they're healthy, they're fighting hard, uh, they're down deep. So that's where I found that one, and hopefully we can get some more. This is the fly I caught that fish on. It's a black with red wrapped coronamid. It's got a gold bead head on it. And uh, you can see I've tied a loop knot on there to give it more lifelike action. And I'm fishing about 18 feet deep, 18 feet under a strike indicator, because uh, that's where they seem to be hanging out right now. My depth finder says it's 18 feet right underneath the boat. So I put my strike indicator 16 feet up my line, therefore my coronamid is just about a foot off a of bottom, right there. And that's why I keep my strike indicator right there so I know exactly the depth it's at and the fish are cruising right along bottom. There's approximately 35 fishable lakes on the Colville Reservation. We fished a couple of them. We fished North Twin, we fished Omac Lake, and they're excellent fisheries. There it goes, there it goes. 
Yep, sure enough. Right there again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, this feels, this is a weightier fish even, I Good. think. Awesome. Yeah, I could see it flashing down there. It's a fighter here. Whoa! Oh boy, right under the boat. Ah <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, that's a good one. Yeah, nice, nice fish in. Gorgeous nice brookie. Thanks. Hit pay dirt. Gorgeous. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish.